Good. Oh, oh, oh. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. And it is our Halloween 2017 issue, not issue, episode, debut episode, Halloween 2017. We are all live. We are unscripted. We are uncensored. And we are here to give you everything. And it's explicit, so... Not for children, I would say. Is that a fair statement? That's fair. That's fair, right? Yeah. Um, we do film live here at Corker Comics every Monday sometime in the afternoon, depending on what time I wake up and eat lunch, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but we are here filming at Corker Comics live in Miami on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU. We also have a store in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard just east of University across from Perry Airport. So Halloween Comic Fest was over the weekend. That was good. We had some cool stuff happen there. But that's... That's hearsay. We're here to talk about the top 10 superhero costumes or uniforms, however you want to look at it, ever, ever in existence. And this is just restricted to DC and Marvel only. We didn't want, no offense to the indie uh, publishers, but uh, we went mainstream on this, right, Wonski? Yes, we did. We went range. And, and by the way, I'm, I'm totally loving your costume. Thank I, you. I'm assuming you're a ghost. I am a ghost. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Thank you for the parameters. I'm glad we had some parameters with this list. Oh, it, were you talking about in regards to... In, in regards to the costumes, where you actually, you know, were clear. Uh, oh, oh, the superhero costumes. Okay. Yes. Well, if you guys didn't and guess... And Marvel and DC. I, I am a magician. I, I am a magician. Alakazam, Abracadabra, Pow. Well, I can't speak backwards like, like, like uh, Zatanna, though. I just can't. That shit's hard. Can you? No, I'm a ghost. Yeah, here it goes. Exactly. Um, but uh, I, I will say this outfit is extremely uncomfortable. This hat is, I hate it, and I hate wearing these gloves. They're super slippery. and like. But other than that, uh, you know, whatever. And, and this bow tie, too, it's tight on my neck. I'm not, I'm not comfortable, but I look like a magician. That's what matters, right? Yes. All right, so enough of that bullshit talk. And, and, and we're going to talk about the top ten superhero costumes ever we are live on facebook and instagram listen guys subscribe to our youtube channel search corker comics and find us there because facebook and instagram we're just doing 10 through 6 if you want to see our 5 through 1 you have to go to our youtube channel and this episode will be live in you know 36 hours give or take um and please let us know your comments uh questions let us know who your top 10 superhero only not villains we didn't do villains because we discussed top 10 cinematic villains Last week, and we didn't want this to just be all villain bullshit. Right. So enough of that talk. Plus, there's a lot of cool costumes. There's a lot of cool. This costumes. This list could have, for me, just have been like ten Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man is it does have great costumes for sure. Yeah. But I'm sure you mixed it up, right? Yes, I did. All right. So you went first last time, so I'm going to go first this time. Sure. All right. My number ten is Batman Beyond. Now. Time, that almost made my list. Time out. Good costume. A lot of people might say, Batman Beyond, that's a TV show. Well, absolutely it's a TV show. Well, guess what? So so was Harley Quinn, assholes. So um, Batman Beyond, yes, debuted as a TV show, and whoever designed his costume did a fabulous job because guess what? They did not change it in the comic books. Still yeah. to this day, his comic, his comic book costume is still pretty similar to... To what it is uh, in the, in his original incarnation in the TV show. So Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond, uh, the comic version, which is essentially the same thing as the WBCW uh, uh, cartoon series that we all remember and love from the 90s. That's my number 10. That was a really good costume. Almost made my list, but not quite. Uh, you know what? It it didn't make my list. I I had a villain for my tenth, and I realized uh, that I fucked up, and I had to bump him. So I put replaced him with a hero, and it was Batman Beyond. Okay, so for my number ten, uh, it's better not suck. Superhero. It's from uh, DC. It's uh, Doctor Manhattan. The naked blue guy. I'm a subversive ghost. The naked blue guy is your costume. Yes. Time out. What is the definition of costume? <laughs> What's the definition of subversive? 
Time out. At Suzy Fett, can you give me the Webster's Dictionary definition of costume? <laughs> Come on. Work those thumbs. As Suzy Fett runs the camera, you could check her out at Suzy. That's S-U-Z-E-E underscore Fett, as in Boba Fett. And uh, you could check her out on Instagram. Uh, the, uh, half of her pictures are half naked. Right, at Suzy Fett? I said half of them. I said half of them. Yeah, yeah. So... Mm-hmm. Okay, so for those who can't hear on YouTube because she doesn't have a microphone, it says a set of particular clothes. Style of a country, historical period. But it said clothes specifically, right? Clothes. So okay, wait, wait, wait. So the list is top 10 superhero costumes, and you pick a naked man. Please explain. So I think that... Do you, so, love, do, do you like want to fuck a Smurf? Is that what it is? Are you having like... Did, did you like have, have a hard-on for Brainy when you were a kid or something? No, the Smurfs are communists. Okay, well still, I, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to understand the, so the, doc, love, the love for a naked blue man and defining that as a costume. Let well, me shut up. Just explain yourself. Dr. Manhattan, originally, they all had costumes. All of the... Uh, yeah, all I mean, of the oh, Watchmen. I'm sorry. He wore a Speedo. Yeah. Because he is so badass that he's just like he got so we're, powerful wait, wait, that he not, stopped caring about we're clothes. Not, we're not rating the costume or the care. I mean, we're not rating the character or his power set. We're rating the costume. Look, man, I'm just being an asshole. I'm an asshole ghost. This list is already stupid. I can't believe you put a number ten as a naked man, and because he's badass and because he transcends the the cloth. Attica. 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 What are you what are you saying, dude? Attica. Who are you talking to? It's dog day afternoon, man. Oh my god. Fight the system. All right, is that it? That's it. That's your number ten. Y- yes. Jesus. All right. I mean, he's a great hero, but this is about costumes, not about what you do as a hero. He's blue, man. Listen, 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 listen. I, I need to do a, I need to do a magic trick. I need to do a magic trick because that just pissed me off here. Wait, wait, he's see. blue. Let's see. Let's see what's. Let's see. Let's see. I'm a magician. Abracadabra. What do I have in my bag of tricks? I have. Watch it be a blue cock. A. A. (laughs) A. Ah. It's a keychain of a smiling scallion. Right. Something that's never going to sell. Smiling radish. Or what is this? It's food. It is food. It is food. I'm a fat ass ghost. Do you think I eat vegetables? This man? is by Kid that. Robot. It's super cute. Everybody, everybody that works with me here at the shop thinks I'm an idiot for ordering smiling food from Kid Robot, but I think it's the cutest damn shit. I think it's pretty cute too. I mean, come on. I mean, this is. But like, I'm not gonna buy it to my son and then ask him to eat it. This I don't think this is for. Who says you're gonna eat this? First of all, no. When he it's, eats it's, like and, a real whatever that is. Second of all. Second of all, like this is this is adorable. This is adorable. It is a, it's really I, I, cute. I, you know, it, it's great to give to your girlfriend or something or someone you're crushing on, and it's fairly inexpensive too. Wow, I can't believe this came out of this hat. This hat is magic right here. I wish it would have been a blue cock. That would have been funny. That would have been funny, but you know what? The hat doesn't agree with your number ten. So, anyways, um, oh, my number nine, jeez, Wonski, is Ultimate Iron Man. From the Ultimates in the Ultimate Universe. Let me tell you why. The Ultimates debuted in the early 2000s. And it basically retold the Marvel Universe. uh, Redid the origins. Redid the costumes. Everything. And a lot of what you guys love in in the Marvel Comics movies. Is based off of what was done in the Ultimate Universe. This was done by Mark Millar and Brian Michael Bendis. And uh it was just some amazing storytelling, and they really tried to make the costume design of everyone in the Ultimate Universe be more practical and realistic to the modern age, and Ultimate Iron Man is a perfect example of that. Unlike the Iron Man we all know and love, which is a basically a form-fitting uh, uh, suit that goes on him, it really isn't, from a, from a physics engineering standpoint, you know, correct. And if you were to really design a real Iron Man suit, it probably wouldn't work or even look even close to that because it, it just it, it just doesn't make sense. The ultimate Iron Man suit was bulkier, was 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 more aggressive. The helmet wasn't form fitting. It looked more like 
something that would go underwater. It, it was a bulkier suit. And then when the suit came off, he had this green liquid that was on him because he kind of had to be lubed up because he's in this suit moving around. It just made a lot more sense from an engineering and physics standpoint. And it was a great design. I think Brian Hitch is the one that designed it. Uh, and and uh, it, it just it made great sense. Number nine, the ultimate Iron Man suit. My number nine is Moon. No, wait, no comment. You, huh? No comment. Uh, That's it. You you disagree. What happened? You disagree. I think it's a really great costume. In All fact, right. I love the Ultimate Universe. I think the Ultimate Universe should be read by everyone. It's fantastic. All right, your number nine. My number nine is Moon Knight. Where he appeared, uh, first appearance was Werewolf by Night number thirty-two. Moon Knight. So basically, Batman in a cloak. But not Batman. And I think I, Wait, I, is this another thing where you're like referencing the hero instead of the costume? No, I think the costume is fantastic. All right, so let's talk about the costume. I don't really want to hear about why you like Moon Knight because that's irrelevant. Yeah. So what? Talk, talk about the costume. I just like the I like the fact that the the all white costume with the white cape. He has that like Raven thing going on where his cape is is also a hood. Um, and I, I he looks like a mummy at times. It's great. I just like how it looks. And his, his insignia on his chest. The insignia is, a, is, is on his chest. Is a, cru- is a moon instead of, you know, a bat or like a weird looking bat. But yeah, I went with Moon Knight. It, I was actually deciding between Moon Knight and Batman because Batman is has an iconic costume and I really like it. But I, I think that Moon Knight's more pleasing to the eye. Can, can we agree that, that Moon Knight's costume is essentially, uh, I mean, not his costume, but the character of Moon Knight is essentially Marvel's answer to Batman? Well, in in a way, but you got to remember that Moon Knight's a schizophrenic, which is what differentiates him from Batman. Um, I can't see what you're doing, but I see like things. Um, Moon Knight's a schizophrenic, and like, was, and at one practicing my magic. At one point, he believes he's the Avengers, like all of them, and he talks to himself in in one uh, one storyline. So yeah, Moon Knight is not so much Batman because he is a mentally uh, he had mental problems. All right. Moon Knight, Wanski's number nine, Juan the Ghost. My number eight is Cable, post Age of Apocalypse. It was designed by Ian Churchill, who was one of my favorite artists. And this is the first time we saw Cable in the iconic X Men blue and yellow costume with a big X emblem on him. He had two big X's uh, r- right, right around his shoulders. Um, of course, he carries a big gun with him always, which seems to be one of his trademarks. And, uh, you know, it, it was it was the first streamlined version of Cable that we saw um, versus the original Cable, which is just filled with these huge shoulder pads that Rob Liefeld did. And don't get me wrong, uh, Rob Liefeld created a great character in Cable, and the original Cable design is great, and it, it almost made my list over this one. But when I really looked at the designs of Cable, I had to go with the post-Age of Apocalypse one, uh, the one designed by Ian Churchill, the blue and yellow, and... Um, it just looked great, and and with his with his metal arm, which is essentially, even though it's a part of his body, it's basically a part of his costume. That's um, what I was saying about the blue cock. <laughs> fair is fair, man. All right, cool. All right, cool. So the blue cock is part of the costume. Yes. Gotcha. All right, cool. All right, touche. Touche is a very magical word, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. That's my number. Uh, what was it? What was that? Eight. Yes, that was eight. number eight. What's your number eight? My number eight is Superman, Red Sun. Oh, okay. So basically, essentially, the Superman costume we all know and love, but instead of blue-gray and instead of the S, the hammer and sickle. Right. So Superman, Red Sun is an Elseworlds story. Um, it basically explores the idea of what if the Superman's capsule had landed in, the, in Ukraine in the Soviet Union, um, and he had been raised by communists. At one point, he's even asked to assume control of the Communist Party. Um, the reason I like it is because we've all grown up with Superman, right? So seeing this new like costume design was like shocking, and I think it looks really cool. His suit is is like a really dark blue, even looks gray at times, and it has instead of the S, where the S would be, it's the uh, the hammer and sickle of the Soviet Union. That makes my number eight. You don't like that costume? The costume's good, but... I mean, you saw the Sideshow statue. That costume was fantastic. I mean, but the Sideshow statue was essentially just the Superman statue painted differently. It's kind of like when, you know, they came out with the Psylocke X-Men action figure back in the day, and then they painted her blue costume red and called her Elektra. Mm-hmm. But it was the same fucking st- figure. I mean, I, I just... 
I, I like Superman's costume. I just I Red Sun, I believe, is the best iteration of that costume. It's the same thing. It's huh? just a different color scheme and a different emblem in the in the crest. Yeah, the cre- it looks great. But if I'm going to pick a Superman costume, that's the one I like. The the design differences in that one's enough to make me pick it. Right, but you're contradicting yourself here. I, I brought up the Smurfs earlier, and you're like, no, I hate the Smurfs. They're communists. But now yes. you're saying I love Superman, Red Sun, who was a communist. I don't love him. I love his costume. I hate his politics. But what makes his costume is the communist emblem. Right. Which is what you said you love. I respect my villains. I mean, never mind. He's not a villain. No, and he's not a villain, but the communists are. I like the costume, man. What can I tell you? The hammer and sickle, even though I hate uh, the Soviet Union and I hate communism, I think it's a cool design. Right. Whoever designed the hammer and sickle, good for you. <laughs> well, uh, whoever designed the Red Sun costumes did not design the hammer and sickle. They just, they just No, I'm saying whoever d- actually did yeah. it for the Soviet that Union. That was actually a pretty bold story to come out at the time, wasn't that it? That really was. Yeah, what year did Red Sun come out? I have no idea. It was in the 80s, though, wasn't it? Superman Red Sun? I don't know. Or was it, it the 90s? I don't know. I'm Superman drawn. Red Sun came in in 2003. Oh, really? It was that? that yeah. Later? Oh. It was written by Mark Millar. Ignore me then. That wasn't that bold then. It was written by Mark Millar. Yeah, but still, that's not that bold. It was. It would have been bold if it came out in the 80s. Yeah. To take an iconic hero like Superman and make him the enemy during the height of the Cold War. Or, yeah, that would have been better. Part of the Cold War, not the height, the downfall, but you know what I mean. Anyways, holy crap. So, Superman Red Sun is your number... Eight. Eight. All right. My number seven is Batman. Uh, Batman from the modern age, basically 1980s, 1990s, the the gray and blue costume with the oval and the yellow uh, and black emblem, um, and where he didn't have the pouches as the belt, he had more like the 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 little tubes. It seemed um, this costume is classic. It's still used to this day, somewhat in little iterations. I mean, the last time it was really used, I think. Uh, was uh, um, I think Jim Jim Lee did it in Hush. He just changed the emblem, but he still used the blue and gray. Of course, Super Friends used blue and gray, and all the other like um, uh, Batman sixty six. I mean, it, it's just the blue and gray costume. I I know we know and love Batman in his black suit, and we think the Dark Knight, so he should be in black or black and gray. But the bl- the gray and blue, there's just you know. Um, it's not as dark, it's not as menacing for the character and the vibe that we're going for there, but it is definitely, um, it, it's more classic and I think it's more inviting, especially the children. And let's be real, like we want to promote comics to children and stuff like that. And I just, I, I think it's classic and, and the emblem is really what, what, what does it for me there. Even though the emblem, the oval emblem came out with the classic bat symbol in the late sixties, uh, it, it held through. The longest, and it's it's way better than the emblem that we see like on Dark Knight Returns, or just the black bat, or even the new black bat with the yellow outline, which is cool. But you know, give me the classic oval with the black and yellow. That's okay, so you basically picked uh, Moon Knight. All right, that wasn't Moon Knight, Dick. It's Batman, which is way better. than You Moon just Knight. said that Moon Knight is Batman. No, I said people like to like to c- c- say that Marvel's answer to Batman is Moon Knight. Okay, so Moon Knight might as well be your pick. Which I think is no, fuck you, dude. The Batman costume is way better than Moon Knight. Not to not to mention the classic ears. I mean, it, you could do a silhouette of Batman and no, it's fucking Batman. Oh, you could you do, do the same for Moon Knight. No, you do a silhouette of Moon Knight, you could say it's fucking cloak. Ah, gotcha. Anyways, I mean, or, or or you could say it's a Jedi. Am I number seven? Yeah, yeah, do your seven, Dick. Number seven, Spider Woman, whose first appearance was oh, in Marvel God. Spotlight number Which 32. Which Spider Woman? Which one? Marvel Spotlight number 32. Wh- which, remind me what Original one that costume. Like? That's the one that's the red and yellow with the red and yellow mask, the webbing be under the, uh, be oh that connect the arms God, to the I hips. Out of every hero in the world, you put Spider Woman in your top 10. Yes, I did. Are you crushing on some girl or something right now? No, I like Spider Woman. Let me ask this question again. Are you crushing on some girl right now? No, dude. Okay, all right. I'm just asking. I mean, if death is female. <laughs> death is a female in the Marvel Universe. Then I kind of am crushing on death. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, you, uh, Spider-Woman. Why? So, the reason I picked Spider-Woman is basically just because it's aesthetically appealing. Okay. The costume. I mean, it doesn't look very functional at all. I'm looking at a picture right now. It does not look functional at all. But... I, I, dude, I think the costume. I mean, I mean uh, the majority of these costumes really aren't functional. They aren't, but I, I mean, it just for anyone. I think it like looks good, dude. Look. Oh my God, you have you have hands. What kind of ghost are you? <laughs> it's magic. 
It's beyond magic. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's supernatural. It's yeah. There you go. It's because I'm a magician. Oh my god. You know what? I I need to do, I need to do another trick. I need to do another trick and pull that trick out of my hat because. That was just... You don't like Spider-Woman's costume? It's nice, but it's not nice enough for top ten. I'm sorry. Oh, that makes my head itch. Fuck. Anyways, what do I have in here? Uh, what can I pull out? For Batsy. Right here. Ah, oh, Batsy. Look, my magic hat pulled out a trick for you. There you go. He, he does dig anal, right? Anyways, all right, Batsy, I'm, I'm just going to keep this right here for you. Right here. Wow. <laughs> That's great. It that was awesome. I love that. Anyways. Ugh. Woo. That made up for that spider woman. Anyways, where are we? Number six? Six. Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch. Not Johnny Blaze. Not the new guy that drives the car, but Danny Ketch. If you guys need a reminder of who Danny Ketch is, he was the Ghost Rider of the 90s that had the motorcycle that literally had that, like, Cool that shield? Front shield on it. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't look like a Harley Davidson. It looked like some futuristic motorcycle. Okay? Uh, maybe it's because that's when I grew up and I'm and, and, I, and I'm sentimental to that. But I think that Ghost Rider... And the Ghost Rider in the 90s was really heavy circulated, very popular character, along with Sleepwalker and Deathlock and Punisher. Marvel had a really good run of their dark characters, you know going in the 90s and Ghost Rider was at the top of that list right there mm -hmm. and that motorcycle and, and, and the costume that, that Danny catches Ghost Rider was in was just phenomenal and the artists that were drawing it at the time were great and and uh, I don't particularly like the character personally but as far as costume design overall from the skull to toe to the bike, skull doesn't count of course it does no he doesn't put on the skull listen listen if you're gonna fucking include the blue cock I'm gonna include the skull Fine, I wasn't gonna say the skull, but you know you want to talk about now like kinda, Manhattan's dick. I would have, you know, to be fair to your pick, I would have also picked Ghost Rider if I believed that his flaming head was part of his costume. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. You consider the dick is part of the costume, but you can't consider the head is. No, my pick was <laughs> no just no pun intended. <laughs> Sorry. My pick was just about <laughs> being an asshole. Oh, so you just want to be a dick and just pick it? Yes. <laughs> You know, I'm 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 indirectly saying the word dick a lot because we're talking about the dick of the costume. It's not even intentional. It's magic. I'm I'm smiling. I just it's very hard for me to be myself as a ghost. No, it's okay. You're a ghost. Are we on number six? We're on number six. You're gonna hate me so much, man. Can, can we? Can, can we? Do you even have eyes? Yeah. And Susie Fett, can we see his eyes? <laughs> what are you looking at? Just cheek. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, my number six pick is. Can, can we see your eyes at least? Like, like, all right, all right. After after you say who your number six is, use the microphone. But 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 look out! Look at the camera. Show us your eyes. There you go. Okay, my number six. Jesus. Oh my God. Be a, like, be stuff a, going on in here, man. Be a friendly ghost. <laughs> What's going on in there? there? I have phone. I have all kinds of shit going on. <laughs> in here. Phone. My oh number my six God. pick you're, is. You're, you're, you're like a ghost with like it's like luggage. Yeah, man. Under there. Is it hot under there? No, no. That's good at least. It's a bed sheet. Okay. Wait, I mean, it's, wait, a it's a ghost. A it's a ghost skin. Sorry. Wow. Holy. Do God. you like the flowers? I love the flowers. Actually, it's like a butterfly flower. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. Fucking yeah. Cubans, man. Yeah. All right. My number six <laughs> pick is from DC, the Phantom Stranger. Oh God, he looks like the fucking shadow. First of all. So the Phantom Stranger is dressed up in a suit. It's like this blue suit. Um. With his pimp ass hat and a pimp ass cape, he looks like a pimp, which is why I picked him. He also wears white gloves. Does he? Yeah. He must be cool then. Huh? He must be cool then. Because I'm wearing white gloves and that's cool. Hmm. So he uh Abracadabra. I just I think he looks cool, man. I, I like the the design. The fact that he's in a suit with a cape is. You know what's ridiculous. great about, about wearing white gloves? What's that? I can I can like go places and no one will know I'm there because my fingerprints won't be anywhere. It's a perfect way to come into crime. It is. It is. I, I think the black leather gloves are overrated. Plus, I think OJ kind of fucked that up for people, too. I think so, too. You know, like, 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 and plus, if you, if you could afford black leather gloves, like real black leather gloves, you're kind of pompous, anyways. Right. right. Yeah, I, I would uh, yeah. I think it takes a real, a real strong person to, like, say, fuck the leather gloves. I'm going to go with the white gloves. So yeah, my pick is you know, uh, and I mean other than magicians and 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 like like 
I mean, I guess high-end servers wear white gloves, too. I could have been a waiter. I mean, if I take the hat off, I look like a waiter. You were a waiter once. I was a waiter. Nothing wrong with that. It's like in Reservoir Dogs. It's the one, it's one of the last, holy shit. <laughs> Does it Susie, get the mop. Get the mop. The water has hit the floor. <laughs> wow. Um, no, but, 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 but seriously, like in Reservoir Dogs, like, like the server industry is one of the, one of the few industries that you don't need a college degree, but you can make a decent living at. Mm-hmm. So, you know, although I will say these, these really are super slippery. It'd be tough to like, like grip the gun good or grip the knife good or even a tray. You know no. what I mean? Because like, 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 I mean, like I'm not even making this shit up. Like it's literally like sliding. Like, I can't. You, you could probably jerk off in these, to be honest. Probably are a jerk off in those. I didn't say I was a jerk off. I said I could jerk off. Oh, it's, it's so silky smooth right now, you know. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so definitely, uh, I think Phantom Stranger uh, is it. Wait, I just I just realized I was <laughs> stroking my microphone. Anyways, Phantom Stranger. I think your pick is. I think your number six is horrible. Let's get back on topic here. He first, looks like a pimp, no, dude. No, first of all, he looks like f- something out of the Untouchables, but he's wearing blue, and nobody in the Untouchables will wear blue. So let's take that back. He's not out of the Untouchables. He's out of Dick Tracy. He's wearing a blue, a blue fedora. That would have been a great a one. A blue fedora hat with a blue like suit, and then he wears like a little like green hornet mask. Actually, I take that back. He's the fucking green hornet, but instead of green, it's blue. Yeah, and I prefer blue. That's a weak number six, man. I think it's strong. That's a People, super weak number six. People, do you guys agree six. with this? So listen, uh, my ten is Batman Beyond, nine Ultimate Iron Man, eight Cable Post Age of Apocalypse, seven Batman Modern Age, uh, which is the blue and gray costume, and number six Ghost Rider Danny Ketch. Juan, what's your bottom five? Number ten is Doctor Manhattan. Number Man. nine is Moon Knight. Number eight Man. is Superman Red Sun. Number seven is Spider Woman, and number six is the Phantom Stranger. Wow, you really. Did you put thought into this list? Yes, I love these characters. Oh my goodness! As Susie Fett, do we have any Facebook Live or Instagram Live comments, questions, or jabs at either one of us? Okay. I have Kira eleven ninety two says I want you are her hero. Kira says Juan, you are her hero. Juan wants to know if you are single, Kira. Juan, I, I just <laughs> I gave a thumbs up, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was just talking. Oh, wow. That's great. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. You're not reading anymore. Come on. Show the audience your ghost eyes. There you go. That's it? Oh, my God. I'm not a male That's what I said. That's what I fucking said. Which, by the way, is a fantastic costume. Look, listen, listen, time out. First of all, I'm not into gender swapping, all right? And what I'd say, listen, listen, I've, that was such a great I, comment. I've known quite a few cosplayers <laughs> in my day. I'm looking at one right now, at Susie underscore Fett. And, you know, here's the deal. They're nothing against the female characters, and they're really developing more female characters in the genre. So that's very progressive of writers and creators and publishers and stuff like that. But let's be real. The comic book medium was invented... For boys, essentially, in the 50s and 60s, and, and and the customer base, even still to this day, is dominated by men, and the characters are dominated by by by, by men. So, I get it. Female cosplayers, like, like they say, oh, I want to be Boba Fett, so I'm going to do a female version of it. Oh, I want to be a female Venom. Oh, I want to be a female Iron Man, which there is one now, by the way. Oh, I want to be all that stuff. So, I get it, but I'm just not into it because I'm more of a purist. I just, I respect the, I, and I think there's just so much out there. That 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 women as well as men have a have a good way of doing stuff. That's like a guy like being like, I want to dress up like Princess Leia. Oh, you did that one. I year. did do that. You did do that. Which was which was whatever. You know. I'm, what do you mean whatever? It was an awesome costume, and I pulled. I did not pull I it I'm off. Just, but. I'm not in the gender swapping. So for the record, I am not a gender swapping male Zatanna. I am actually a magician. And if you want to put a comic term on it, I guess you could say I'm that abra, abracadabra douchebag that was featured in the first uh, couple issues of Titans. Um, 
uh, from the DC Rebirth. Re- reference DC Rebirth, and he was some guy that came in the past and wanted to fuck with Wally West and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? The story was pretty good, but the, the villain as a whole was weak. So, But if you want to call me Abracadabra, you could do that. But I just really wanted to be a magician and wear a hat and wear some gloves and whatever. Look at the Zatanna, man. Because once I take... Fuck you. Once I take this hat off... Um, I, I, I really feel I look like a high-end, like, five-star waiter. You know? I don't have a blue cock. No, you're a ghost. You don't have a cock, period. I have a ghostly cock. Oh, a ghostly cock. Any, what do you think is uh, right now, like, and not making our list, but what do you think is right now the best uh, female costume going on right now in Marvel or DC? Well, well, it might be on my list. Oh, it might be? Yeah. Really? I, I might have a female on there. I think the costumes have gone a lot better. Like, I think uh, Spider-Gwen is an amazing costume. Actually, nothing against the women, but I don't have... I don't have a female Which costume. is probably why he made fun of my spider woman. I, I don't have a... I don't, but if I, to, if I had to pick what the best female costume is on the market right now... Right now. Uh, call me. Call this lame. Call this stereotypical. But I'm going to go Wonder Woman. Really? I think they really reinvented the Wonder Woman costume to not be so American and patriotic. The classic Wonder Woman costume, which we all know, which has probably got the most press, is the Linda Carter version with the right. with the yeah, yeah. with the with the red, white, and blue aspect to it. You know, but let's be real, Wonder Woman is not American. Right. She's an Amazonian, she's from Themyscira, and and as great as that the stars were on her panties and stuff like that, it was contradictory to the character. So I really think uh, DC has done a good job of trying to reinvent her costume and her look and not make her so patriotic. She's not Captain America Wonder Woman. She's right. she's Wonder Woman. And and the and the little blue miniskirt with the accents of gold, it, it's 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 way better. So my vote is for I, I think the reinvention of the Wonder Woman costume is is, is probably is the best thing happened for I like, females. I like costumes uh, in, I like spi- I think I think Spider Gwen. You have to say Spider Woman because that's on your list. Uh-huh. Unless you got Spider Gwen in your top five. No, but I'm not considering what's on my list already. But I think Spider Gwen's a really good one. Gwenpool's kind of cool too. I just think you're in the hoodies. I might be in the hoodies. Okay. Well. Anyways, I, I want to do I want to do another trick before before we say bye to Facebook and Instagram. So let me do a trick real quick. Um, Abracadabra, Alakazam. Ah, since it's Halloween, I have open candy, some icebreakers. Good thing, good thing. My wait, oh my God, ghost! You have hands. I could I could get you have, oh, one. Oh look, of those. my my bare hands are not touching this, so therefore it is not contaminated. Another good use. Of the white gloves, it's it's germ free, germ free. Mm. No, you can't go wrong with the star panties. Listen, if, guys, if you go to our Pembroke Pine store, I have this lithograph poster that this amazing artist drew, um, which is essentially naked Wonder Woman. All you see is the back of her legs, and she's holding her panties. It's a very provocative, sexy image without showing anything. It's really good. These are kind of these are kind of spicy for cinnamon, right? It's cinnamon. I know, but like it's like big red gum. Mm. It's good. Yeah, it's mm. pretty good. Really good. So, anyways, that's our bottom five. We're gonna say bye to you guys, Instagram and Facebook Live. If you guys want to see our top five, log on to our YouTube. Go to YouTube.com, search Corka Comics, subscribe to Corka Comics, and you can see and be updated on every latest um, episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka, the magician slash five star waiter with beautiful gloves and a hat. I am Juan Farage, the ghost with a beautiful cock. All right, and bye bye Instagram, bye bye Facebook Live, bye bye bye. Let me put this hat back on so I can get back into the Halloween spirit here. Um, <clears throat> and Susie Fett, did we post those? Both of them. Yep. Fabulous. So, YouTube, welcome, welcome, and thank you for subscribing to the channel, and thank you for watching us. We can't tell you how much we really appreciate that, and we are here talking about our top 10 superhero costumes in the spirit of Halloween, ever, and DC Marvel only. Yeah. Only DC Marvel. So, uh, we left off uh, with our bottom five, and now we are at number five, the top five. Here we go, the top five, end all, be all. Uh, My number five is... Archangel, and I'm talking about the. Uh, you're considering the wings. See, I consider him too. It's not fair. I'm talking about Archangel. Um, 
after he got his wings cu- cut off and he has the metal wings and he's got the blue and magenta or hot pink whatever like stuff going on the blue skin and the skull cap um, like he was a bad guy for a little bit um, one of the four horsemen the angel of death for apocalypse and then he got good again and I'm talking about the good one because we're talking about heroes not villains so Archangel is my number five he's one of my favorite characters I actually have a Bowen statue of Archangel and it is gorgeous Beautiful. it's gorgeous it's fucking amazing like and and you want to know what even the X Force version of Archangel, where his costume is black and gray instead of the blue. You don't and hot prefer pink. that version? No, I like the blue and hot pink. I, I actually like the uh, the X fact the X Force version. The X Force version, well, uh, to each their own. But but I'm gonna go with the uh, like in general. I think all the X Force costumes are better looking than the original, including Wolverine. I mean, they're they're darker and they're more they're more relevant to like a Black Ops team, right. which is what. But they do were. You, do you prefer like Wolverines? Over his classic uh, brown or his... Uh, I, I love the brown. I love the yellow. Yeah. Wolverine doesn't look bad in whatever he's in. You know? Yeah. He didn't make my top ten, but but uh, but Wolverine's great. Uh, so there you go. Archangel, number five. My number five costume is Daredevil from Earth X. Remind me. Daredevil from Earth X. He First of all, it's not Daredevil. We don't know who it is. Right? But it, it's kind of like that, that red leather... Costume. It looks like a mix between uh, Doctor Strange and Daredevil. He has that giant pentagram yes, on his yes, chest. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I love the costume. I love the character. Earth X. It's a good little story. Um, again, it's an Elseworld universe. Ross. It's Alex Ross. Um, the cover of Design. X2. Yeah. His X2 is where he first appears a character, and that's a famous cover with uh, the actual Daredevil, like Doctor Strange uh, mixture. I just think it takes the best of. Two awesome costumes. I love Daredevil. I love Doctor Strange, and uh, and it's great. I like the pentagram on the front. It's a good design. No cape. No, there wasn't a cape, was there? No. Okay. I don't remember that story. I might have to revisit it. Remember, like Darede- like the Earth X Daredevil, like had a circus and he was always trying to die. And the reason that he became a sidekick to Captain America is because Captain America sidekicks always die. Great. No, I don't. I need to revisit that. I no. really do. The last time I was a teenager when I read that shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Well, my number four is uh, Spider-Man in the black suit. Yeah, great. Black suit Spider-Man. Uh, he first appeared in Secret Wars number eight. Was it? Yes. Secret Wars number eight. Uh, and then he was also in Mar- or, or was it Marvel two fifty two? Uh, Amazing two fifty two. It was one of the two. Mm-hmm. I think his first debut was Secret Wars, but his first official Spider-Man was the the gotcha. two whatever you're talking about. Um, which, by the way, we have both of those at our Pinezo. We do have both of them. Do we have them here too at Miami? No, we do not. Oh, uh, we have them in Pinezo, which we can get them here if you guys want to get them in Miami. Anyways, um, but it, it's a great costume. It really is. It's so simple. It's essentially just. The Spider-Man costume we know and love. He kept the eyes the same, and it's all black. And then he got a new Spider-Man logo out of white, which went across his whole body, which later became the iconic Venom costume, just a bigger version of it. Um, and it's just so sleek. It's it, it it's it's great. It, 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 it's a, it's it's amazing. But isn't isn't his costume just a symbiote? Is I mean it, the the symbiote comes onto. That's the, what creates a costume, right? I mean, a rendition of it. I mean, you could say that, but at the same time, like, like then, then why did why did he maintain the costume for Eddie Brock? Why didn't he take on a new thing when he right. became Venom? You know, so I don't know. It was an awesome design. A great design, great design. I, I I'm not gonna get into the the backstory on why it why right. it is the way it is, but it just it, it it's a great costume. It's a great costume, and uh, yeah, that's my number uh, four. My number four is the Iron Spider from Amazing Spider-Man five twenty nine. You like that 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 out of you, you like that 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 horrible mutilation of the Spider-Man costume. So, and I think the the best was I think there was a cover on it for uh, Civil War was it that Michael Turner did? I think that's the best that costume looks. Yeah, it's my favorite one. Why? Huh. Like I like the fact that he has spider legs. You could have picked the superior Spider Man. No, I liked I like the iron I, I like, like the Like the red spider. and gold? You liked those? Yeah, I did. I did, which is It was essentially Iron Man. Right. In a Spider Man body. Yeah, it's like Iron Man mixed with uh with 
Spider Man. Ugh. I don't like that at all. From Civil War. Really? I don't like it. I I, I couldn't stand it. I I hated it. I still hate it. I I think it's awesome. The the red and yellow, um, the mask like is way sleeker. Um, there's no like lines on it, which I loved. I loved the appendages that come out and the fact that he had the uh, the blaster. Okay, cool. This is the Michael Turner cover. You don't like that? That shit looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, it looks show 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 the audience. Yeah, it looks it looks nice. It looks good, but you want to take the appendages off and put him in the the actual Spider Man costume. It's an Iron Man costume. Whatever, dude. All right, my number three. Here we go. The top three. The top three, top three superhero costumes DC Marvel only ever, in our opinion. My number three is Superman pre New Fifty Two. Yes, that's with the red underwear, and the and the yellow belt. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, it's classic. The mixture of red, blue, and yellow, like that's primary colors right there. First of all, all right. So, kind of like the red yellow of the iron spider got it but there's no blue asshole so listen the primary colors the the design the shield of superman it, it, he is so iconic he is probably the most recognizable character arguably in the world yeah and he's pretty much maintained the same costume for the entirety of his existence. Yeah. And that says a lot about his design. Granted, he had the electric version of himself. You know, granted, you know, when he came back from the dead, he wore the black suit, which was a, you know, kind of a ripoff of the black Spider-Man. But for the most part, the only thing that's really changed on him is how long his hair is. Yeah. You know? Which was awful. But... And, and and now they got rid of the red underwear. Yeah. Because they think that's lame. Which, uh, you know, yes, it can be lame. But there's something iconic about it. The shield has essentially stayed the same. We can't argue that Batman's costume isn't iconic. It is. But his emblem continues to still change. Not just, like, everywhere. It changes. Yeah. Superman's stays consistent. Superman, it's, it's amazing. It, it is. It, it's my number three. Hands down. And I know there's a lot of Superman haters out there. I know you're one of them. Um, yeah. But it, it's great. Superman. Well, I, I just would never have picked Superman. I, I think the costume, is, it is iconic, but there's nothing unique. Um, I, that, which what is what unique? He set, he set the standard for superhero costumes. No, I know. And there's, there's a lot of that going like, on with like it. Yeah. Action Comics, number one, set the standard for superhero comics. Spandex, bright colors, and a cape. No, I know, but now that yeah, and if we were judging it back then, that's fine. But judging but it now with every- everything we know and love is owed to Superman, right? So what? And 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 the creators of Superman and and the costume of Superman. Yeah, like Pong is not as good of a video game as Gears of War Four, man. I know it's iconic, but still, it's boring, dude. Plus, it, by the way, it, I would have. It's stri- beautiful. It's great. It's great. It looks great. Look at Jim Lee. How he drew Superman in his run of but Superman. Jim Lee, amazing. But he drew the the version I'm talking about with the red yeah, underwear and everything. Yeah. And you could you could see how amazing. Like, I, the honestly, costume Steve, is. I, look at Dan Jurgens the way he draws Superman in the Death of Superman. It's amazing. Look at look at Superman in the 80s. You know, it's just it, look at Superman today. His costume holds like, up. Uh, it's amazing. That's fine, but I just I, again I just find it boring. I think Eradicator would have been better. I love the Eradicator. I think that would have been... A, oh, but that was a villain. It is a villain. My bad. Yeah. So... All right. Number three. My number three... Wait, I, I want to do a trick. Because uh, there's an homage of Superman. Um, my... my um, what, what can I reach into my hat? I have... Uh, oh, shit. More smiling food. Look at this. That is super cute. It's a smiling pineapple. How could you look at this and be like, I don't like this? It's like adorable. It's adorable. I'm not even holding my microphone. It's adorable. You know, this smiling pineapple right here. It's, it's again, by Kid Robot. They have smiling hot dogs, smiling hot pizzas, smiling yeah. tacos. Giant fucking hamburger. Smiling cheeseburgers. Yeah. Like, it's great. It's great. Kudos, Kid Robot. This stuff's fucking amazing. Batsy doesn't like it. Although... No, he does like it. He likes everything. He does like everything, actually. He does, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, Batsy, I still have this other gift here for you. 
So, anyways, let me put my my hand. number three is from DC Rorschach. Good from the Watchmen. Yep. Um, so it's basically like a trench coat and a white suit with like black splotches. What really makes it is his his the co- what covers his face, right? The mask. It changes. It changes. Yeah. And uh, it's become super iconic. I mean, out of all the Watchmen, I mean, there's a an argument to be made for the comedian, but Rorschach has basically come to really represent the Watchmen. Um, that mask has become iconic. And uh, even even in in the upcoming Doomsday Clock, they did a variation of his mask for the cover, where well, it has the, the, the cover of Doomsday, the cover Clock, of Doomsday is Clock. going to be his. his it face. is Rorschach's yeah. mask. Um, yeah. it, it's not as good as like some of your costumes, maybe some of my other costumes, but I just think that the the whole the face thing, the fact that it changes what it is, makes it a top three costume for me. No, it's cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue that. It's better than some of your other choices. I'll say that. Mm. I'm curious what your two and one is. I'm scared. Um, my number two is uh, Sunspot from the Age of Apocalypse. I know that's a deep cut, right? That's there. pretty deep, man. That's a deep cut, uh, and especially since like that costume really didn't exist beyond the Age of Apocalypse. Right. But let me tell you what, Sunspot is a fucking whatever, a lame fucking hero that was on New Mutants yeah. and X Force for a while. His costume was lame; it was blue and red. And he was all black. Yeah. And he like flamed up like sunspots and shit like that. Right. And he had the power of the sun. Age of Apocalypse comes out. And I remember the promo for Age of Apocalypse was Sunspot. It wasn't Apocalypse. It wasn't Magneto or any of the other people. It was Sunspot. Because his costume design, which was I think was it was designed by Joe Majura, um, was just it, it's amazing. It's simple like little black lines that outline his body and with, with flames around it, and then he's got he's got his little like like J- Japanese Asian mask. It almost looks like Katana's mask from mm-hmm. Suicide Squad, um, and it's 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 great. It's just cool. It's cool yeah. to look at. It's cool to look at. It's cool to draw. It's cool to play with, and it it, it made the character cool. I, I I Sunspot Age of Apocalypse. My number two. All right, my number two is gonna be an Iron Man armor, uh, the Hulkbuster armor. It first appeared in Iron Man 304. Um, Iron Man, like Spider-Man, Iron Man has a ton of awesome costumes. And not just Iron Man. Like, War Machine was fuck. I remember when War Machine came out. Like, you remember, like, blown away by that cover with all the fucking rockets? Yeah. So, like, Iron Man has a ton of awesome suits. I think the Hulkbuster armor is the best of all his armors. See, I think, I think the best Iron Man armor is the uh, Silver Centurion. I like that. I like a lot too, and I was considering and, it. And a lot of people hate on that because of the shoulder pads. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's great. But no, anyway. it, it's, it it was it almost it was between that and this, and I only wanted to pick one of each. So like, I didn't want to pick multiple Iron Man armors. Um, I, I just feel like um, that Hulkbuster thing is amazing, especially when you see him go up against Hulk with it. It's great, and you want to know what? Kudos to Marvel Studios and Josh Whedon for executing the Hulkbuster. Incredible, armor. yeah. Almost perfectly. Yeah. And it's probably one of the most difficult costumes to mimic on 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 the screen. Yeah, like yeah. like like uh, it's good, it's good. And you know what? All the action figures for the Hulkbuster is great. All the statues for the Hulkbuster are great. The Hulkbuster is just it's it's happening. I I'll, I'll give you that. That's good. Good one. I'm proud of you right now. Um. Now, are are I don't know if you know this, but this whole time, all of our picks have been appearing right here in the middle. Right there. Yeah, right there, man. Do you know that? I did not know that. I know it's pretty cool, actually. Like just because because we want we want the we want the audience to just see what we're thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's a, it's it's magic. It's like, pew. so my number one drum roll. Number one superhero costume, DC Marvel only in my opinion, Stephen the Magician, or the Five Star Waiter, Ultimate Captain America. Boo. Like Ultimate Captain America from the Ultimates. Let me tell you what. They took the Captain America costume, which in itself is iconic, kind of like Superman's costume. Hasn't changed a lot. And they modernized it. They made it make sense. Prior to the Ultimate Universe, Captain America had those gloves and boots that had the cuffs around them. And it was just fucking lame. And he had the red underwear. 
And and he just he needed a good update. Even when they did Heroes Reborn, he still had the the it, it wasn't he wasn't cool enough. They 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 didn't accomplish it the way they really needed to. Until the Ultimates came out and Captain America first of all wasn't wearing red boots. He's wearing brown leather soldier boots cuz that makes sense cuz he's a soldier. He has a belt with pouches on it that is made of brown leather as well to store stuff because he is a soldier. Okay, and then his costume you, you saw actually had stitching on it and seams because spandex would make no sense. You need something that can actually hold up and the ultimate universe as a whole and all the spandex related costumes really introduced seams into the costume and made it actually look like an actual seamstress put that thing together. And ultimate Captain America really is embodies what the Ultimate Universe was trying to do in reinventing the classic costumes that we know and love. And it's because of that, once again, I'll say that the Captain America that we love and know in the Marvel Cinematic Universe looks the way it looks, and as well as many other characters, because of what happened in the Ultimate Universe. And Captain America in itself is an iconic figure. We know him. We know He's, he's worldwide known as well. And the shield, which is a part of his costume, is amazing, hasn't changed. Um, and it's 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 just it's it's amazing. Ultimate Captain America, num- my number one. You know what's crazy is if I would have picked a Captain America, I would have picked a Corporal Punishment. Which one is that? Punisher as Captain America. That was way better. From from Mark Mil- Mark Millar's yeah. old, old, new Ultimate Avengers. I mean, the story was great, but the costume was. You didn't bad. like the the Corporal Punishment. I didn't think the, I liked the story. I didn't like the I didn't like the costume. All right, so my number one. Wait, wait, wait. Well, one. hold on. There needs to be a setup first. Oh. Like, as you notice, my list is a lot of, like, iconic costumes, but I always take, like, the different version. I think that adds a lot into why I like a costume because you're flipping something on its head. Um, opposite of you, I didn't go more, like, functional. I understand why you love the Ultimate Universe. I do, too, um, because it kind of, like, makes it real for us, right? Yeah. I went the opposite way, and my number one costume is the biggest switch you can have from a costume from its original to what it became so my number one costume is from marvel penance from thunderbolts the uh he was speedball originally so that, speedball was that's a dark costume dude speedball was a shit fucking costume it was he had these like fucking little like different colored like balls and shit so what ended up happening is the new warriors were fighting uh, a gang in this town and Speedball used his blast and ended up destroying the whole town. Because apparently he's way powerful than any yeah. of us thought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that, that too. And you you know why? you he's Because fucking his costume sucked. Anyways, he ended up killing a bunch of people. Who knew he could take out a town? Yeah. He killed a bunch of people, a bunch of kids. That's I thought what, he was like Jubilee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, was like, he, he looks like Jubilee, the costume, right? He Not takes really, out. He, right. he takes out like no. I mean the little balls and shit. Yeah, like, yeah I know. But what are you so um, he take this. It basically started the original civil war, right? Because of what he did, they wanted to start registering uh, superheroes and whatever. So yeah. the coolest thing about Penance is Speedball, because he was consumed by guilt afterwards, couldn't use his powers anymore. The only way he can use his powers was if he was in pain. So like pain became a conduit for his powers. So the outside of his costume is metallic. It looks really cool. But what's great about the costumes on the inside, he has 612 spikes. Each of those spikes represents a person that died because of him. And there were 60 spikes that are longer than all of them. And this was crazy. The reason they're longer is because he killed 60 children in that town. And so the spikes are always digging into him, which allows him to use his power. He existed for a while through Civil War, uh, through, I think, the Dark Avengers. And basically Marvel's like, this character is way too fucking dark for us. Goodbye. And now he's speedball again. And now he's shitty-ass speedball again. Back in his original costume. Yeah. <laughs> and happy. Yeah, and happy. Smiling. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible. Listen, I'm 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 actually going to commend you on that number one. Uh, very dark character. The design was great. Very medieval esque, torture esque, um, and he really was a tortured character. The story was great by Warren Ellis. The design was amazing. Uh, check it out, guys. Warren Ellis' run of Thunderbolts is is great on that. And uh, and yeah, Penance. Penance was a dark character, but the costume was good. If you take a, if you take out the dynamics of the character, you just look at the costume. Yeah. It was it was menacing. It was. It right. really was. It and for a good guy. Right for a good guy, especially and and yeah. compared to what it was, you know. Also, you gotta 
I think you got to take that into account that he had such a shitty, like, token costume and became like this thing. Yeah, it's a shame Marvel Marvel abandoned that. It really is. Yeah. All right, so let's recap our top ten. Uh, my number ten was Batman Beyond. Number nine, Ultimate Iron Man. Number eight, Cable. Post Age of Apocalypse. Number seven, Batman Modern Age, which is uh, the blue and gray version. Number six, Ghost Rider, the Danny Ketch version. Number five, Archangel, uh, uh, the blue and hot pink version. Post when he was uh, one of the Four Horsemen. Number four, Black Spider Man. Before uh, the suit went to Eddie Brock. Uh, number three, Superman pre New Fifty Two. That's with the red underwear. Number two, Sunspot from the Age of Apocalypse. And my number one, Ultimate Captain America. My number 10 was um, Dr. Manhattan. My number nine was Moon Knight. My number eight was Superman Red Sun. My number seven was Spider Woman. My number six was The Phantom Stranger. Number five was Rorschach. Um, no, I'm sorry. My number five was uh, the Earth X Deadpool. Okay. I have my thing, my thing, my Daredevil. It's written out of order. No problem. Um, then I have, uh, what number am I on? Four? Four. Iron Spider. Uh, three was Rorschach. Two was Hulkbuster, Iron Man. And my number one pick was Penance. All right. And I want to do another trick, if I can. Sure. My final trick. Your show. Of the show. Oh, 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 I'm busted. I'm busted. I'm, I must not be a good magician. But it's this cute little... Freddy Krueger. That's a guy with a hat pulled out of a hat. Excellent. Freddy Krueger, one of the Mopies made by Funko, which, by the way, we have the number one Funko selection in all of South Florida. Uh, I dare anyone to challenge us on that. What do you say on that one? I completely agree. At the best price, too. You know what amazes me about our Funko selection? Like, we have a ton of, like, variants and exclusives, too. Yeah, a whole wall full. Like, it kind of scares me how much we have. I'm just Yeah, it's actually getting to the point where it almost rivals our regular selection. But see, the problem, the thing with it, too, is, like, it's not like we just have it and it sits there all the time. Like, it's always changing. Right. Uh, Like, I'm not going to lie. Every time I come here, I look at the wall and there's new shit up there. Yeah, we're constantly trading. Yeah, it's it's insane. So, guys, come check that out for sure. Um, But, uh, yeah, so happy Halloween. Kids, be safe. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed my magician costume. I'm going to call Aber- Abracadabra from Titans, but if you guys want to say I'm a gender-swapping Zatanna, that's cool. Uh, either way, I'm a magician in a hat with some fancy white gloves. And Wonski here. I'm in a, a subversive asshole ghost. All right, subversive asshole ghost. I like that. Happy Halloween. Be safe, everyone. Don't forget to go to our YouTube. Ch- oh, you're, you're already at our YouTube channel because yeah, you're right. on there. <laughs> well, if you're watching our show, subscribe. Subscribe to our channel because we're going to bring in lots of more goodies here. Uncensored, unfiltered, unscripted, always, every single week. For Atomic Pop, I'm Stephen Corka. I'm on Farage. Wait, what the fuck? I'm on Farage. All right. Anyways, thank you very much. Take care, guys. It was good.